In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate the robot doll and red guards from the Squid Game series. This is part of the first game of the series, Red Light, Green Light. We'll start with the red guard first. We will be using the joysticks and sliders rigging tool to animate our red guard characters. The illustration file is available for you to download for free in the description section below. If you have access to our After Effects library, you'll also be able to download the illustration and animation files from the library. Before animating, we'll need to mask this circle on the guards mask by using Set Matte. Let's add the Set Matte effect to the circle layer. Then select Take Matte from the head layer. Copy the effect to the mask and shading layers as well. Select the circle, mask and shading layers. Add a keyframe at the first frame to their position, scale and rotation. This will be his front pose. Then click origin at the second frame. We'll adjust these layers position, scale and rotation at the second frame to make him look to the right. Then, click Origin again at the third frame, and make the character look to the left at this frame. Click Origin again at the 4th frame, but this time we'll make him look upwards. and he'll look down at the 5th frame. After setting 5 consecutive keyframes to represent the character's front, right and left, top and bottom extremes, or key poses. Select the circle, mask and shading layers, and click create new joystick. Give it a name and we'll have this joystick controller. Move the face origin to this corner and change its scale. Let's lock the face origin. And we'll have this small square adjuster that helps us control the character's face movement easily by moving the adjuster around. The joystick controller acts as a guide layer, so it will be invisible when you render your project. Now, to animate his head movement, we'll just need to keyframe this face adjuster's position. Let's separate the face adjuster's position dimensions and keyframe its X and Y position to make the character turn left or right, up or down to your liking.
Let's add some subtle movement to his jumpsuit's zipper by keyframing its rotation. By adding some subtle movement to the jumpsuit's zipper, we've created the illusion that his costume moves with his head. After the red guard is animated, we'll drag and drop the red guard composition to our timeline and change his position to make him stand next to the doll like this. Duplicate the red guard to create another one. Offset the red guards to randomize their movement. Let's add the loop out expression to loop the guards movement. Adjust timing and spacing of the red guard's keyframes to smooth out his movement. Make sure his first and last pose must be the same, and change the duration of our project to create a perfect loop. And we have just finished animating the red guards using the joysticks and sliders tool. We're going to take a break and in part 2, we'll come back and continue with animating the giant robot doll. <laughs>